the difference between elements and atoms. It's kind of a slippery idea. So we're going to start with an analogy to build your understanding, and then we'll get into the specifics about the differences and commonalities between elements and atoms. So here I have an element from the periodic table, taking this right off the periodic table, and we call it the periodic table of the elements. It's a list of all the elements we know. So here's carbon, and the element carbon will always have six protons. This is the atomic number that tells us the number of protons. But let's talk about apples for a minute. When I say apple, you know what I'm talking about. Here's an apple. It has a stem, sometimes red, round, an apple. But there are specific types, varieties of apples. We have Gala apples, we have Granny Smith, we have something called the Jazz apple. So there are many different varieties of apples. But they're still apples. They have commonalities. They have the stem, they're round, sometimes they're red, not always. When we look at elements, if I look at the element carbon, it's made up of different varieties of atoms. So one variety of carbon, the element carbon, will have six protons and six neutrons. Its atomic mass will be 12. Another variety will have six protons, because it's carbon, it'll always have six protons, but it'll have seven neutrons. And there's even one that has six protons and eight neutrons. So these are different atoms of the element carbon, just like we have this idea of the fruit apple with different varieties of apples. But let's see how that looks. Let's get a little more specific about that. So here we have the atom, the nucleus in the center where we have our protons and neutrons and these orbits where there'll be electrons. We said carbon has six protons. That's its atomic number. So there's carbon, six protons in the nucleus. It's a positive ion right now. When we look at the periodic table, we just see C. There's no plus or minus after it. So we need to put an equal number of electrons. These are negative. The protons are positive. So they'll balance out and give us a net charge that's zero. So now this is a neutral atom. Protons equal neutrons. This is the element carbon. So we said there are three different varieties. One has six neutrons. And this is one variety. We have six protons plus six neutrons. That gives us 12. We call this carbon 12. Most of the carbon, if you have a sample of carbon, will be carbon 12. Some of the atoms in a sample of carbon will actually have seven neutrons instead of six. This is another type or variety of carbon atom. We call this carbon 13 because we have six protons plus seven neutrons. Carbon 13. And there's even a little bit that would have eight neutrons. So we have six plus eight. We call this carbon 14. This is an atom of carbon 14. So our element carbon is made up of three different isotopes, three different varieties of carbon. One has eight neutrons, one has seven, and then one, the most common one, has six. So let's talk a bit about definitions. So the number of protons in the nucleus, the atomic number, that defines the chemical element that this atom belongs to. So if you see six here, it's going to be carbon. Each one of these varieties has six protons. That makes it carbon. So just like we have these varieties of apple here, we have different varieties with commonalities, these specific atoms here for carbon, the element carbon, they have the same number of protons, but they differ in their neutrons. So since they have different number of neutrons, we call them isotopes. They're different atoms of carbon. So that's the difference between elements and atoms. I'm Dr. B, and thanks for watching.